Hello everybody, Joe Bagdonuts here, and welcome one and all for a brand new series. That's right, finally getting around to Total Eclipse, just dropped last night. Uh, got off work early, thought I'd be able to record. Uh, turns out it didn't drop until like the date changed, so that was cool. It's actually my second time trying to record this because this, this intro eats fucking shit on, uh, I was about to say, in full screen. It's not in full screen right now. Uh, I guess it just doesn't like being recorded by OBS or having other things in the background because I'm looking at my... Uh, my task manager here, and yeah, it's, oh man, that's bad, ain't it, huh? All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to splice in a normal version of the opening here, because I'm getting a fucking slideshow. I ran this before in full screen, and it was doing this exact same thing when I was trying to record, so that way yeah, I went in, put it in window mode, ran it again. I'm like, oh, this looks fine. Let me try recording now. And yeah. Uh, I'm still stuck on, like, one frame. This is bad. Oof. Uh, clearly not the game's fault. Uh, is, this is clearly some weird interaction with OBS and uh, how the game runs. But, hey, you know, sometimes it just be like that. Ah, great start for all, uh, all new viewers who might be here. But if you're new viewer... Why are you coming in just for Total Eclipse? Go back and watch all my other content and like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. <laughs> and comment on all my videos to bump it up in the algorithm. No, I don't care about that. Uh, but in case you are new and you're going through the, the playlist, you're like, weird, where's fucking Extra and Unlimited and like the first 13 episodes of Alternative? Well, you two gave me the fucking spank on the behind for, uh, yeah for maybe including some some saucy scenes from from those games <clears throat> so i know but no better not to do that now oof owie hey look at that a uh, normal title screen that isn't moving at literally zero frames per second because i was uh stuck on one frame that entire opening oof owie uh what do i know about total eclipse uh i know there's evil booba good booba and booba in between that's literally all I know about Total Eclipse. So yeah, but going in pretty much completely blind. I've seen like maybe like one or two clips of the anime, but that's mostly just like the fucking beta running around. Because uh, uh, mm. anyway, uh, I just woke up like and fucking uh, had a bad time waking up. It was like one of those days where you wake up and you don't know who you are or where you are or like what. What's going on, but have to get out of bed regardless. It was bad. I was not having a good morning. Well, I say morning. It was 1130. I guess I have work at three. So this probably isn't going to be that too long of a of a thing. And hello, do I need to click to advance? Or, or did my game just die? That'd be cool. That'd be cool if I'm not able to play while recording. Uh-huh. Oh, getting some audio. We're just being dramatic. Oh, no. It's... Ah, that's gross. Yikes. I haven't seen him do this before. Ooh, off to a great start. A and a hive. There we go. Just had to just had to think about it, you know. I think if it wanted to play nice with me, which clearly it didn't. Uh oh. Man, I've been an easier time fucking recording the VNs from '98, fucking having to run it through Virtual Box in this. I say that, but don't don't go back and watch like the first couple episodes of my Moon playthrough, uh, because I didn't know how to properly resize the screen in OBS to do screen capture. I'm not screen capture, like like application capture instead of display capture so the game was running in its native like 480p but since i was doing screen capture uh it was like only up in the corner i had to like zoom in and fucking made it like five pixels in total it was crunchy very authentic looking though hey yeah you i know you now, see now it's running smooth 
The site remains as mysterious as the day I first laid eyes on it. Don't expect me to do voices. I cannot do voices. I am sorry. Everyone is going to be the same monotonous voice as long as it's uh, fucking in their head. They all have the same uh, fucking like ancient reptile brain and their subconscious that does the talking for them. There's no reason why a pale light flickering amid the darkness should tug on the heartstrings of the Japanese people, yet it does. From time immemorial, gazing upon this light has left the heart and spirit of our people flush with feelings of love, respect, and admiration. What are you talking about? The shame is that these days we can only witness bioluminescence of this magnitude within the abominable strongholds of our enemy. I didn't know the Japanese people have a strong affinity towards bioluminescent moss. The hive, a symbol of despair and slaughter, a structure the whole of mankind should hate. <laughs> not the woman I was in the past. This shouldn't be a distraction anymore. And yet, I find myself lost in thought. My heart be set with hesitation and anxiety to the core. Ooh, good call song. A little long in the tooth, so. Haha, <laughs> get it, Fang? Uh, but no, call signs are usually like five letters. Because that's all, all you can fit in the call sign strip that goes to like the air ATC. <laughs> There's a reason they're all really short like that. But hey, you know, they're the royal guard, so they're fucking cringe lords. Well, they may not, may not be flying talking about sushi, but... Fortunately, that's one thing I do know, is that this chick flies the gold Takami Kazuchi, which, uh, for my very vague recollection of skimming through the, uh, the alternative codex, it goes black, white, red, gold, blue, and then purple for the Shogun. So she's in, definitely in, up in the uh, upper echelon. ゲートと突入から like, incident, like you haven't run into anyone at all? And by anyone, I mean a hive. I mean a hive, a beta, fuck, what am I talking about? Oh god, the way they're doing the fucking moving through the tunnel. Oh, nauseating. Decent effect, though, it, uh, you know instead of just having a static background, or the, you know, just 3D render sliding around like we're playing Doom. The fact that you're using a prototype in an actual mission is very concerning. Like, they're, they're prototypes for a reason? Because they still have testing to be done on them before they're good to go? Not only does this new device require a minimum of one entire flight to operate, but carrying it severely hinders a TSF, TSF's, ooh, TSF's, ooh, posture yes there, fuck me up, functionality on the field. I'd love to meet the pilot who can stay a positive lugging this thing on their back. Even so, ooh, faces of people I don't know. I will do it and do it gladly, for it is my path and my duty, amongst other reasons. Oh, great. We, we got another fucking bay on our hands with, you know, my duty, my soul of Nippon. But whatever the case, I'm entering the crucial stage of the operation and I'm clearly causing my subordinates to worry about me. Command 
Well, the prototype's that big fucking gun she's got, that explains why I haven't seen it before. White Fang Delivery, Two Tai Kuki, Juiti Hoko, Kuri of Sunny, Daiki Bobe Tagu, Kaikai Sio. Well, at least they're coming from the front. White Fang Two, Juni Hoko, Shiko Sakteki, Kai. White Fang Two, Yokai. Kimochi was not the way. Daga, Kokoro at Sunny, Sumeta Tamoto. Mm hmm. Don't run wild. Kotira White Fang Two, Onkin Sensor, Nikari, Teki Kotai. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Cut her off. Get used to that, folks. Woohoo. Ooh, nice. That looks good. It's nice to see them improve their, like, 3D tech. Because I remember in, uh, fucking Unlimited, it looked a little odd at times. Such tension. What will they find? Fuck him up! Again, it's their own fault for taking such long, dramatic pauses before I hit the next key. Because I don't like it when it's my fault, then I feel bad, so, you know, I just push the blame onto other people. Mainly these fictional characters. A super healthy coping mechanism, actually. Ooh, that's a lot of tank. Blah. Ooh, don't look at that one grappler in the back fucking sliding around in his face. Just vibing, having a good time. Oh, he's gonna pinch you on the butt. That explosion really made it look like they just blew up their own fucking squad right there. So I just realized, did they have reactive armor on their shields? I guess it makes sense. You got a fucking beta crawl on you want to fucking blow it off. One thing I really appreciate appreciate from some VNs is that they have a little, like, almost like a uh, fucking loading bar to display how far along the voice line is. That way you actually know when it's going to end. So, uh, very, very nice for people like me who have a short attention span and just want to fucking mash the inner button. That, that was fucking weird. Never seen a story look like that. What new weapon is it gonna be? Seeing so many new stuff. We saw we saw the like handheld railgun last time with that fuck boy Ikaruga. Oh no, it is the rail. From my understanding, this is an alternative timeline branch off, not an unlimited timeline branch off like the day after, so. Fucking timeline shenanigans all around. No, nothing new. Ooh, a little bit of overlap there. No, even though it's a bit cool to show the railgun with a giant like beam behind it, that's, that's not how railguns work. Like it would just it basically just fires like one shell using magnets. It'll go like, 
it's not a, it's not a laser beam. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's fucking great for inside a hive tunnel because, you know, where are they going to go? No way to avoid that. Again, that's not how a railgun works. Unless, I guess, it's just non stop just loading in new fucking rounds and just going like rapid fire. In which case, it would uh, burn through ammo like a motherfucker. And, like new, new beta sprites. Never seen those ones before. I just realized, like with the top of the uh, the grapplers. Uh oh. Through the wall. Don't, don't let the baby get surrounded, otherwise she'll end up on a fucking Hoi 4 ready post. Or they'll be like, bro, rape my fucking encircle. Yeah. Oh no! Okay, those those tank look a little silly crawling around. Yep. <laughs> Danger close. Don't want to get hit. Move. Yeah, uh, maybe don't let them eat the railgun. I mean, it's more like you've just been fucking laying on the trigger, but... <laughs> Yeah, things ain't going so hot. Oh no. Wow, someone actually using their knife. Crazy. Ah, oh, it was all a sim. It was all a simulation. Why the fuck right? ブロックに致命的存在。戦闘継続不能と判定。仮想戦闘プログラム。ボールドプレイ終了。これより感染モードに切り替えます。ああ、they're <笑> I was gonna start off with an Operation Lucifer kind of thing, but nope. Got fucking jabated. Takamura Chui? Omemio. Kanjin Natoki ni Sado Furio deska? Shingata wa kore dakara. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's why they're fucking running tests, and they're part of the test. Just like just like I said, would be a good idea. Crazy how that works. Shinga. How'd a grappler damage it if you were in the back? なるほど。ということは走行強度に難あり。と言ったところ。あそこまで敵の肉薄を許してしまえば。I mean yeah, you're not wrong, but I mean, it is really good in the tunnels. Yeah. It's like putting all your eggs in one basket. That thing goes, and it's like, well. 
あとはレポートに書きましょう。走行強度をどうするかはメーカーの要望ですし。そうだな。私のログも共有しておく。はっ。それにしても最後の抜刀、注意の礼式なら間に合っていたでしょうに。うん。言うな。対応できなかったのは私だ。期待のせいにするほど落ちてはいない。Because they were in a sim and the sim data probably doesn't have it loaded. This is a Shiranu Ichigata Hewa, Kosei no to Hikikai ni, Toksei ga Katayotte Shimata Kitai des. Kuyon Shiki de Areba, Mada Ichigata Heo, Jizaini Ayatsuru Mono Moki. No Ryuko Hikita Senai no, Watashi no Mondai da. Takamura Chui. I mean, while it is nice to be like, ah,、oh, every. Every weapon has its pluses, and anyone who puts in the effort can draw it its pr- true potential. There comes a point where it's like, no,、nah, this one's just better. Like, sure, if you use it long enough, you can, you know, you can eventually fucking know how all its sweet spots work and like da 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 da. But you'll probably be dead by that point, so you're better off just using this one. <laughs> It's like going to Evo Finals with like a D tier character. Like, yeah, if you fucking play around with it long enough, you can fucking do it, but. But why, though? I think I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. But you didn't. I'm going to be able to do it. 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 Fucking fire off a giant laser beam. Sleeper drift no cake, I was sure on the show. You can shimmy that at all, yeah. Cuchosi. Eh, what can you do? Carini cake, I stayed at a stemo, two tie kibono tots new. Scamo ano joko deva, hack percent to hack and waf can move the parts. Chewing is orega de kirunara. Take cocoa tono mukasini, Sadogashima, Torica stay mass, yo. Ha 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 ha. Anxiety must be written all over my face, given how far I am in. Oh god, that's really close to I am in. Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna need to reread that. Ame mine. Ame. Ame mine. There we go. Ame mine. Ooh, that's gonna be close. I'm gonna flub that a lot and just call her I am in by accident. Fuck. Why would, they, why would they do that? They just named two characters almost exactly the same. No! Especially for my fucking gaijin brain who can't. Who's Bad at fucking differentiating between syllables. Ame mine, ame mine, ame mine. I'm, no, see, I'm not even doing it right. It's a, it's a ya at the end. Ame mia, ame mia, ame mia, ame mia. Ame mia is gonna console me again. There we go. Ooh! Alright, nip that in the bud before that became an issue. I really am a sorry excuse for a commanding officer. <laughs> しし <laughs> Typing up your report. Type 99 Railgun has a long road ahead before it reaches mass production, but once it gets there. Without a doubt, the Empire, no, the entire world will undergo a revolution in military affairs. It's hard to believe a mere prototype can display that kind of performance. If a simulator only device is that powerful, it's shocked to think of the real railgun's capabilities. In all honesty, when I first looked over its insane specifications and resource demands, I wasn't entirely convinced such a device would, could even exist. But after bearing witness to its sheer power, even if it was within the context of a simulation, I'm hard pressed to deny its revolutionary potential in terms of anti beta warfare. Still, that will only happen if we, after we've managed to solve the fundamental operation it problems. Operational problems. Words. <sighs> They have letters in them that have to be read in a specific order, and you can't just leave them out when you don't feel like it. Except the railgun has the potential to affect an even greater paradigm shift than TSFs did. TSFs are a product hard won over decades of trial and error in real combat operations, 
Conversely, the railgun can be immediately outfitted onto turrets, vehicles, and warships. We can treat it the same as any conventional art artillery and still ring out its full potential. A weapon that can neutralize an entire battlefield with no risk of collateral damage. The power of the gods under our complete control. The railgun is the product of Yokohama, a monument to the humiliation we have suffered, foreign boil festering within the middle of Japan. At the time of Operation Lucifer, the largest counteroffensive ever launched in the Far East, the United States dropped an experimental new bomb on Yokohama without due notice to the Empire. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up of them. We paid a hefty price in blood and treasure, but humanity was able to bring down a high for the first time in history, leading to the recapture of Honshu, the largest of the five mainland islands of Japan. In the days that followed, the UN forces assumed jurisdiction over the ruins of the Yokohama Hive, a state of affairs that continues until the present. <laughs> I actually don't know where we are on the timeline. They mentioned uh, having a nice cup of tea in Sadugashima, so clearly we're before the events of Alternative. Or maybe we're going simultaneously. I need to see a calendar. Because what was it? October of... Was it, it was 2001 or 2002? Sorry, can't remember. I want to say 2000, 2001. Other than the atrocity committed by the United States, Yokohama remains shrouded in secrecy to this day. But that by itself presents a critical issue, one that cannot be easily set aside. If the data from the trial run is any uh, anything to go by, this device requires a dedicated nuclear reactor to keep up with its ridiculously of ridiculous power requirements. Ooh, yeah, that's uh, that's a little spicy to be carrying around, huh? Except if the chief engineer is to be believed, there isn't anything remotely resembling a reactor attached to the prototype under assembly. Geomonts. Just where's that power coming from, then? Yokohama holds the key to that mystery. Yeah, Geomans. Yokohama Base, aka the headquarters of the United Nations 11th Force in the Pacific Theater. The largest United Nations base in the Far East, and a beacon of hope for all mankind. Yokohama is the first ever military base built atop the remains of the Beta Hive. On top and inside of. Rumors about Yokohama have been a constant of everyday life throughout my tenure in the Development Corps. Ooh, R&D, fun stuff. And while Yokohama is spoken about in rever uh, rever ooh, ooh, revered? revered, revered, revered tones, not a single one of those rumors has been of a positive nature. To speak of Yokohama is to speak of the dark. Ooh. But yeah, fuck shit goes on there. It's little wonder, then, that the place where the technology behind a weapon like the railgun comes from is headquarters of a questionable secret project. Yokohama is Japanese in name only. As a practical matter, it's an enclave of the United Nations in the middle of Japan. You must never again depend on the whims of a foreign power for weapons that could determine the fate of the Empire. The pursuit of self-reliance is why we devote so many resources towards improving the Shiranui, and the development of a power source for the railgun is a pressing matter as well, but it must be dealt with domestically. <laughs> However, even if we resolve the energy problem by ourselves, other issues still remain. Take ammunition, for example. One of the railgun's selling points is that it can fire 120mm shells at a rate of 800 rounds per minute. It's a double-edged sword, though, since it requires external supply containers filled with nothing but 120mm shells to fully utilize its optimal fire rate. The weapon demands a, a secure logistics route, and even assuming one is present, tactical rockets and field artillery are vastly superior in land-based combat operations. Right now, the railgun only shines in hive capture operations. Oh, it's 98. Okay. Unless they're watching archive footage. Archive footage. Beta は首都京都に迫り、帝国軍、在日米軍、国連軍は三軍共同の防衛戦を構築し、迎え撃つも敗走。
7月31日ついに京都市街が戦場と化してしまいましたファンスタープ三軍必死の抵抗も虚しくデータに蹂躙される1200年の都この日帝都鎮守の琵琶湖艦隊による全力砲撃によりベータの第一波はかろうじて退けられました<笑>壊滅した京都駅から救出された地獄から生還した奇跡の少女英史帝国コノイ軍の坂村唯一周囲に当時のお話を聞きました当時コノイ軍英史養成学校に通っていた私は同期生とともに、八人式戦術歩行戦闘機、随閣に登場。初陣に臨みました。実戦経験のない私たちは、嵐山仮説補給基地の師匠を見つけられました。But, 最前線に出られない悔しさはありましたが、任務に精霊しようと努めました。ですが、前線部隊の壊滅により、ベータの進行を食い止めることができず。Ooh, looking a bit, uh, little rough there, right? Yeah, at least they included, included、uh, a bubbles in the blood there to show it's a lung shot. Ooh, fish eye camera lens. About to lose my mind. Yeah, because if you get hit in the lung, all the blood gets like frothy and like really bright red and like. Ugh. Seen, seen some training videos. Not, not fun stuff. Just walked right into the h o 山城和沙少尉はかろうじて機内で生存していましたが無数のタンク級に包囲されており機体ごと捕食されるのは時間の問題でした The fucking two people like looking at each other with their foreheads touching, and then it goes to like the POV, and it's just like, ooh, like, like this. Vital data, you ever. She shall go set she. She gets to the Kinai Joe Tai that Tayo. Brutal. What a guy, 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 what a guy. ヤマシロショイを解釈できなかった手の震えが止まらずただ引き金を引き続けることしかできませんでしたおそらくヤマシロショイは絶望と苦痛にまみれて説明したのだと思います私にもっと育児があったなら私がもっと強かったなら私だけが生き残ってしまったのか。私だけが生き残ってしまったのか。私だけが生き残ってしまったのか。私だけが生き残ってしまったのか。私だけが生き残ってしまったのか。私だけが生き残ってしまったのか。私だけが生き残ってし
高村家に律する者は取り得ない選択ですそして理解しました松子の名誉を私に託した戦友の思いに応えられなかったことこそ高村家を汚す行いであると私は己の不誠実と未熟を恥じその事実を全て受け止め滅びを拒絶し自らを鍛え直すと心に決めました Good for you. You know, how many times you fall down, you can still get back up. Legs aren't broken. In that case, you know, rest up a bit, and as long as you have the intention to get back up. I'm lounging around in my fucking nice, fluffy robe because I woke up, but ugh. It's like. Armpit weather outside, it's awful. And I'm like sweating, drinking my coffee. Whew, even with my AC running in the background, which fortunately you people can't hear anymore because I turn on sound suppression in OBS. Yep, with the greatest ever read English lines in all of Muvlov. Especially the original. The original lines were something, uh, something interesting. I don't even want to impersonate the accent and the way those English lines were read because I feel uncomfortable doing so. 8月5日未明、連合軍は最大目標である横浜ハイブの攻略を開始しました。反抗作戦の噂を聞いて、まあ、胸に限る投資を抑える必要があるとされています。鍛錬の証を亡き戦友と父母に示すその時を、一日先週の思いで待ち続けたのです。ですが私の部隊は、こう22号目標攻略の主力ではなく、新帝都防衛を担う玉が絶対防衛戦。ええ、つまり後方に配置されたので。Still, still you know. 皇帝陛下がおわし、将軍殿下が陣を構える新帝都の守護を守る本部。ないし、ひどく落胆しました。武家にあるまじき思いとは知りながら。目と鼻の先で行われている戦闘を指をくわえて見ているしかない己の運命を嘆き呪いました連合軍は数回にわたるベータの大規模増援にかろうじて持ち答えるも高22号攻略は膠着状態に陥ります What even is that? Is that the is that like the underside of a of like a fucking destroyer? Ugh. Ugh. そして翌6日、Ugh. 8時15分40秒やめろ、yes. US Space Comp to all units deployed around Hive 22 Evacuate immediately, I repeat, evacuate immediately Okay, he is speaking English. We have decided to use the new anti hive weapon. Evacuate immediately from the effective range expected shown on the data link. This is US Space Comm to all units deployed. America. And nothing of value is lost. Yeah, kind of a fucked up thing to do. I mean, yeah, it was fucked up to do, but, you know, there, there, there was no one really there. But, 
その炸裂直後から西日本のデータが一斉に交代を始めたのも事実それによって日本は本州だけでなく四国九州、yeah. 島まで一気に脱退できたのです Good idea. そしてその結果データをユーラシアに封じ込めるという世界防衛戦略の完成し日本を含めた全世界に一時的な安寧がもたらされたのもまた事実ですジーランの使用によって利を得たのは誰なのか日本かアメリカか国連なのかそれとも And someone else. Alternative five fuckers. ここでとても興味深いある手紙をご紹介したいと思います。I love letters. 最愛の我が娘、ゆい。地球の折、甚だ簡素ではあるが、一生したためる。<笑>地球存亡の時いたり、再び戦場に立つ機会を得られしこと。この絵に名を連ねたる身として、妨害の喜びなり。帝心報告は部門の誉れ。天地神明に近い。父は異性紀元主どもを撃退し、みずほの地に、再び安寧を取り戻さんとす。Oh, what is this piano track? It's like playing over itself. 我に不足ありてもおかしいと思います。Like, おみにかかむらけの一切を委ねる。その手続きは、顧、like、問の山岡先生とよく相談すべし。御身は必ずや生還し、帝国再建の一助として、税金せしめんこと。父は心より気球す。戦時多忙の身にして、妻子を幸福に荒らしめる機会少なしことは、我が生涯の心残りなり。御身は、父の分まで母に公用を尽くされるべし。これ、我切なる願いなり。パパ戦国の世から武具のこしらえに長じ帝都城三大をも許された名門でありながら秋分にいとまがない高村家先代は七四式近接戦闘衣装と八二式戦術方向戦闘機をはじめ数多くの国産兵装の設計開発を手掛けデータ進行により莫大な富を得たとの噂もありますえ、What's wrong with Lena, you know, getting a, getting a little, little, little bit on the back end, you know? そして、現当主である高村唯注意は、皮肉にもその座を、ベータの日本侵攻と明星作戦によって、やすやすと手に入れ、家業とも言える、兵器開発に勤しんでいる。Hell yeah, let's go! 違う父様と私は、決してそのような Military industrial complex? Based? For war profiteering? Good? Jidan no shio ni yotte, Rio eta no wa dare na no ka? Yamero. Beta no shinko de, Rio eta no wa dare na no ka? Yamero. Nippon ka, Amerika ka. Oh, uh, that's gonna be much someone else. I feel like you're in a, you're like in your own head a little bit too much here, bro. Yeah, you get used to it. え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、
But why does your subconscious sound like a fucking gramophone? Shouldn't your like subconscious have like better sound quality? Very, very noble saying. Shame, I don't care about aristocracy. <sighs> Do you deserve punishment or are you just doing it to yourself? February 2nd, 2021. I mean, not 2021, 2001. Third underground hangar, whatever. I didn't read all of it because I was busy focusing on my gas. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. But we are we are pre alternative. Shui wa kono tokoro zutto lei no shiranui no simulator ni norarete ita kara desho. Ichigata hei wa kekko detarme ni jitta balance no aru kitai desu kara. Sono chikuseki data ga waru sa o shite. Two bars, two stars. Major question mark. I'm I'm learning my Imperial Japanese ranks, but eh, what can you do? Nice ribbon rack, though. つまり注意は今両極端な期待を交互に乗っているわけで強化装備のデータが貧困現象をあ取り込み中すまないが君少し外してくれないかはっ言えばいや中佐いつおいでにおっとリテナカーナオッケーおい作業中止だ一旦退
この陸軍コノエ合同の一型兵評価プロジェクトにも志願したくらいだその思い入れは相当なものだろう、うん、ふん刻々と悪化する佐渡島の状況を鑑みれば霊式の配備遅延を早急に補う必要があります、yeah. Yeah, don't worry, look at つなぎとはいえ父が手がけた八人式の代替機ですその最有力候補が一型兵回収型であるならそれは私の天命かと upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Always upgrades. I can't fight on the battlefield myself The least I can do is complete the Shiranui 1C and the captain That captain Sanada and his men used to pilot なるほどそこまで生きるならこちらも安心して頼めるってもんだ頼み人払いをしたのはここからの話のためだ実は先日の装備調達会議での話だが Fun, I love meetings. 以上のように平原森林市街地ハイブなどの戦闘条件において姿勢救急型電磁投射法は極めて高い全面制圧能力を発揮すると結論付けて問題ないと考えます5 days before 6 conference room imperial ministry of defense また高村中尉の報告書にある不具合に関しても量産までには全て解消できる見通しであります以上ですその解決する見通しとやらこそ具体的に聞きたいものだな、yeah, We need the hard data. 具体策につきましては目下検討中です数値は全てお渡ししてありますのでそれをご参照いただければと冷却装置以上に重大な問題があるだろう速射機構あれはどう解決するつもりだ What do you mean? あ速射機構の問題、yeah. とおっしゃいますと救急型砲の心臓部は横浜絡みのものだと聞くあ,あだとすればそれ自体がブラックボックスなのではないかね横浜私、ね、はあまたあの女でいたのかねなるほど厄介そうな話だでそれが本件にどのような形で関係しているとあ私の調べたところによるとメーカーは第4計画から受託した電磁投射砲の設計製造技術をまるまる救急型開発に利用しているようです。From, from you go? No. 設計どころか、心臓部はまるまる横浜製という情報もある。となると、やはり例の元素ですか<笑>、うん、それが関わる以上、あのメギツネはまた難癖をつけていろいろな要求をしてくるはずだ。Yeah. <笑>救急型砲はそのリスクに見合うのかねそそれはええー、ご指摘の件ですがすでに問題は解決済みでありますご安心くださいそもそもこの技術の流用は先方からのご提案です難癖をつけられる筋ではありませんこちらに貸しを作っておこうという魂胆ですか、oh, clearly. であるなら横浜に関しての心配は救急型実用化のめどが立ってからすればよいと仮を作る作らないの選択権はこちらにあるというわけですな和田積みの後継機にはより強力な火力が求められているたとえ横浜絡みといえど、欲しくないといえば嘘になるか。Yeah. I mean, she might be the devil, but the devil's got some pretty good fucking deals right now. 議長、結論。案件100人。And and 姿勢救急型電磁投射法に関しては、現状のまま、量産を前提に開発を継続とする。スケジュールの詳細に関しては、担当官と相談をしてくれたまえ。では、次の案件。案件121九四式一型兵の回収要望についてでありますが残念ながら今回のご要望全てを実現するのは難しいと言わざるを得ませんねご存知のように原型機である九四式は極めて困難な要求仕様を実現するため量産機としては異例なほど突き詰めた設計がなされた機体です従って
通常は考慮される将来的発展を隠する構造的冗長性についても極限までそぎ落とされています。Oh、God, which MIG was that? I remember one of the MIGs, fucking. The US was fucking scared shitless of it until they finally got their hands on it, and they're like, What the fuck is this piece of shit? And it was like, Ugh, ugh, gross. And then, you know, like, okay, no, we're good. Beard Kara, Kaishu of Kano Dato. But three taking you Kano deva, Rimasen. Nesga, Kuyon Shio Kaishu Shio to Suruba. 在来機に比べ根本的かつ大規模な改造を行う必要があります、うん、それを行うには当然多くの時間と労力そして資金と資源をそのためだけに費やさねばならない、うん、我が国で戦術機開発が可能な富岳と三菱そして弊社は来るべき佐渡島奪回、うん、そして大陸反攻に備え94式の後継たる次期主翼機開発にその持てる力の全てを注いでいます。Away, sword and silence. ベータの物量をものともしない、より強力な新型機の開発と、運用に問題があるわけでもない、94式の困難な回収。トレードオフに全く値しないものと考えますが、いかがでしょう。Mm. Quality over quantity and all that. 仮に、要求をすべて満たした回収機が完成したとしても、次期主力機の要求仕様には遠く及ばないということを付け加えさせていただきます。とはいえ、77式の対応年数も考慮するのは我々の何も手を打たずにいるわけにはいかん。いや、しかし、77式の代替機は97式というのが今期防衛対抗の。手記の感想が必要になる。Yeah. 94式の回収が難しいのであれば、so、can, 97式とて同じことだ。だとすれば、必要な機体が国内調達できない以上、外国機の導入も検討すべきでしょうな。何を言う ?Impossible。対ベータ主力装備である戦術機は、国産であるべきという結論は、それこそ94式開発の。You know, you know, because Resources that are great for weapons development and、uh, hasn't led to any issues before with、uh, <clears throat> acquiring said、uh, resources. Gicho, Nani Kone, Iwaya Chisa Shoka Nishotsu Gusaku Arius. Okay. So n o 外国機導入など問題外です我が国には独自の戦略に基づいた戦術機運用理論がありますそれは戦奪が積み重ねてきた血と汗の結晶でありたとえ失礼しましたどのような厳罰も受ける所存です yeah, it's fine disgraceful I let my indignation get the better of me and I mouthed off to a superior officer honestly Spoiled by Lieutenant Colonel Iwa. Oh god, oh god, more, more Japanese names I'm not used to. Iwaya. Iwaya, there we go. He's been formally appointed as the guardian of my sole heir, but he's been formally appointed as the guardian of the sole heir of House、uh, Takamura, but our bond goes deeper than that. Lieutenant Colonel Iwaya was father's dearest friend, and he loves me like a daughter ever since I was a child. To think all he's done for me after father's untimely death. This is how I repay him? How wretched I am! Oh, oh, <laughs> how woe is me! Ah,、oh. oh, man, it's fine. <laughs> Just goes to show that you're passionate. Ah, ah, no. Iwaya, Chusa. Now loosen up a bit. So, good to me, Tayo. Matta ga i ga razda na. Yui chan yo. おやめください中佐今は任務中です yeah, you know, keep, keep that work and personal life separate. <笑>よく考えろなぜ俺が結論を先に言わなかったと思う I don't know, you like seeing her riled up? Nothing mentions it. Lieutenant Colonel Iwaya never beats around the bush, so why would he start off by recounting what happened during the meeting from the, the beginning? He was probing my reactions. 
That's why he was being so coy. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, come on. You know, I, I mentioned it before, like fucking mate and stuff, you know. Like a spring so wildly tight, it's gonna fucking roll in on itself, you know. Just fucking loosen up a bit, my god. Go have a drink. Why do you think the big fucking fancy desk in like the commander's office have locks on the drawers? That's it's not because there's anything secret in there, it's because, you know, the, the private reserve for, uh... When he need to get the edge off. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 You know, even, even if you're not in control, you have no idea what the fuck's going on. As long as you put on, like, a stern face and just kind of, like, pretend? You know, as long as they don't know, they're not going to doubt you. That's what I do. There's a reason people think I'm an NCO when I'm fucking not. Just I've been in for a while and I know how to fucking strut my stuff and pretend I know what's going on even though I have no clue. It also helps that I look like I'm 35 when I'm in my mid-twenties, but hey, you know, it's been a it's been a rough life. ははは、まだ硬いな。だが、根本から変わる必要ない。お前らしさが一切なくなるのは高村家にとってもこの絵にとっても損失だ。人間変わろうなんて無理な話さ。<笑> You don't gotta sand them all down until it's you're fucking nothing but a smooth, like, piece of slate, you know? Just gotta find the good parts and, you know, put some work in them, you know? Ref you know, a little, little personal development, refinement. Oh boy. Yeah. The only reason the oak grows to be that big and strong is because in its growth period it bends with the wind so it doesn't break in the storm. Yes. I doubt an unprecedented national crisis, a situation that demands swift and decisive action, is the time for self reflection and soul searching. Kind of is. You can do both at the same time. But... Yeah. <laughs> After so many years, Uncle Iwaya still runs rings around me. I doubt I'll ever reach his level. He's been around since I was a baby. And it's in that time, he's accomplished more than I ever could in my wildest dreams, as both a surface pilot and weapons developer. A distinguished veteran and a peerless weapons developer, Uncle Iwawa's... I ooh, fucking, that's, that's a name, it's got too many A's in it. Iwaya's, Iwaya's, Iwaya's. Iwaya's fame spread so far and wide that his name is spoken with reverence across the Royal Guard, the Army, and the Navy. Three branches of the Imperial Forces constantly at odds with each other. Yeah, but I know one thing about, uh... Well, it's probably not the case anymore, but old uh, <clears throat> uh, Imperial Japanese traditions is that the army and navy fucking hate each other. ずいぶん話がそれてしまったが、お前さんを殻買うためだけに人前に話をしてたわけじゃない。What <laughs> Mm, 
F4 の日本割り当て分が欧州戦線に回されたことああ、left behind dry, huh? その事実と屈辱が帝国の国産開発を強力に推進させ今その能力を得るに至った以上、okay, 外国機導入が問題外であるのは自明ですまして帝国は世界に先駆け第三世代機を実戦投入しています我が国の要求使用を満たす機体は我が国にしか存在しないと確信しています、uh, oh, okay I, I can get I can get the first part about being confident, but being the only one? Hmm. Deva, Maker and Chuno even what Toda. I've got to keep your, keep your eyes open to head on swiftly. You know, look, look, see what everyone else is doing. So that way you can,、uh, you know, learn from them. It's, you know, what was it? Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery? Huh. <laughs> I'm just imitating your TSF designs. That's all. So, you are the Shirano Ichigata Hill, Side I call it the Kaishu Subiku, Kono Skin Project and Mio Tojitano. This Ichigata Hill, Jukren Ash, the Nakutomo, Askai Kitani Surkoto, Kanaiba, Yori Oak, no Ash, the Senjo Niki Nagare, Sono Haigo Nyaru, Sarani Oak, no Inocho, Mamuru to Shinjitimas. All right. Hmm. Good solid model without a steep learning curve. Sweater Wakata. これまで聞かせてもらった言葉、すべて二言はないな。は、この絵と高村の名にかけて。高村注意。は、貴様の戦術機に対する知識と技能、そして国産機にかけるその思いを見込んで、特別任務を与える。特別任務でありますか。ファン。そうだ。貴様にはアラスカへ飛んでもらう。ええええ、グロス。アラスカ。Held by the Soviets, ain't it? Sending me to the United States? Why? Or at least they're fucking in exile there. It's kind of like leased out to them, like, you know, Seattle was in the day after. Wait, he's axing me from the project? <laughs> But I belong to the Royal Guard! This is unheard of! America, Alaska, Alaska, ユーコン陸軍基地に赴任しクラウスハルトウィック大佐機関のプロミネンス計画に参画プロミネンス Where have I heard prominence before? I know, I know that That's not the Susanna O project, is it? 日本帝国の開発主任として XFJ 計画を推進するのだ XFJ 計画 I think, it, I think it is ああ日米共同の一型兵改修計画だ94式のベースモデルである F15 の機能拡張ノウハウを持つボーニング社が協力してくれる。Susanna O might be a part of Project Prominence. Oh god. It's so hard not to say Boeing. But, but it just is. It's just Boeing, just spelled differently. I'm just gonna say Boeing. Boeing! So we won't be working with the,、uh, so we won't be working with the American Armed Forces. Over the private American defense contractor? Yukon de Wagenzai. Eh? Sensin Senjitski, Gijis Kaihats Kaykak. So show Prominence Kaykak and Shinko Chuda. Boning of a Dokuzini, Evujugo, and Dyson said, I upgrade of Gijis Kensho, Okonati. Okay, boning. So don't, don't want to get into all such a moral to you, Wagada. Let me just say, fuck Boeing.、Uh, some of their components are in the most hard to read places, which they. When they're installing them, they're like, oh yeah, this is so easy.、Uh, that's because, like, none of the fucking support struts or panels are installed yet, and you don't have to, like, fucking break your arm in order to reach a transmitter. Uh-huh. Could be. You got fucking blinders on. I hate to admit it, but he may be right. No, he is right. Kono mama deva. Isle te kok zen tai ga shikanu ito onaji michi o tadaru. Watashi wa so kakushin shite iru. Ha! Kisama no kimochi mo wakaru. Ippo teki na anpo jo yaku haki ya. Mio jo saksen deno dokdan senkou. Yeah. Yeah, kind of a fucked up thing to do, huh? Tokuni Kisama. Sorry, you're the way out, not the usual. Katakimo dozen. 
アメリカ企業と手を組むことはいかに命令とはいえ心中穏やかではあるまい It's almost as if you're reading my mind. Either that or just super easy to read. But it's personal for him too. Lieutenant Colonel Iwaya lost his dearest friend that day. Parents or comrades in arms, it doesn't matter. Both are irreplaceable. Now that I've experienced combat for myself, I understand that all too well. And this man, someone who shares in my suffering, is telling me to work with the Americans. Anger must be eating him inside. Different from the frustration I felt that day.、Uh, oh, no, no words. No different from the frustration I felt the day I witnessed the beta trampling all over everything I held dear. Nevertheless, he rises above it all. Uncle is single minded. Uncle is single mindedly devoted to the survival of the Empire. Yes, I see clearly. The time has come to pay back this outstanding debt of gratitude. XFJ Kakak, Narabini, Kai Hats Shinin no Gi, Shin de Haime Tashmas. うん、よろしく頼むぞはっお任せください正式な命令と詳細は後日になる準備し始めるのはその後でいい中佐質問がありますなんだ転属後私の中退はどうなるのでしょうか心配するなさっきも言ったように引き続きおもちゃの開発を継続してもらう。アメミヤチ。Good hands. I, I assume we have no reason to doubt her. Oh, that's a fucking fat boy. Yo! Three engines? Is that an Antonov? I know, I know it's got like the tail of an Antonov, but I don't think the Antonov actually has three engines. I'm gonna check real quick.、Uh, the part's ending here because I gotta get ready for work because I gotta go in early to get some stuff done. But hey, don't worry about that. I'm just running down the clock. But, uh, what does the Antonov look like? Plane. Nope, yep, it's got three engines. Cool. Oh. Was. Yeah. It, uh. Kinda got fucking melted the other month. So. Thanks for that. That was very cool of you, Russia. Anyway, uh, yeah, with that somber, somber note ending off on, remembering the fat ass that was the Antonov, uh, we are gonna end it here for today. Uh, I still need to make a thumbnail, too. You know. One hard part about making thumbnails for a new series is that you have to, like, dig through fucking Google searches and occasionally you see things you probably shouldn't see that happen later on in the story. But, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for the next episode of Muff Love Total Eclipse. See you guys all there. Later. Bye.